international community should understand that this government is now torturing people alive to death. From uh, May 2000 up to September 2001, I had the great honor to join the largest independent newspaper in the country, set it. You know, those moments were the golden moments uh, in Eritrea. People at least had the opportunity to talk uh, freely at that time. Uh, fortunately, this freedom shattered in September 2001 when the government uh, suddenly uh, decided to close down private uh, newspaper. At the same time, my dream also shattered. I remember I woke up early in the morning on Tuesday and I used to go to downtown in order to buy the newspaper. When I went to downtown, it was this um, young girl. She told me, Tedros, have you heard the news? She said that the government has decided to close the newspapers. I was shocked. I couldn't believe her. Um, when I saw the office was closed by the government security agents. A couple of days later, the government has decided to imprison high-ranking government officials. So I was shocked, then I realized that something's happening in the country. But a week after it began to happen, that the government was also looking after um, editors or journalists. And then most of my colleagues were uh, in prison. The government uh, was insisting in uh, blocking all access to information because the president wants to be a dictator. So the only way to make sure that he stays in power and challenge it is by silencing critical voices within the society. How do you do that? You have to make sure there is no arena where people could voice their criticism against the government. As a journalist, the only thing that you need is uh, freedom of speech. So the only hope that I saw was to, in order to save my life, then I have to escape from the country before it is too late. We have to hold this government accountable now. We have to use all kinds of pressure. The government wants these people to be forgotten. We will never forget them. You know, when the government is behaving like a mafia, then the international community must step in. This government is now torturing people alive to death. For change in Eritrea to come, we need the support of the international community. We can't do this alone.